Okay, this is week eight for a uh, devotional moment. One day at a time, 10 day devotional. Here's the book. If you don't have the book, you can purchase you a copy at www.stepsforchange.net or I also have a link for Amazon. You can get the ebook version of it. But this is week eight and, um, and we're going to be talking about trusting in God. So who do you trust? And the key verse for today is Psalms 37 and 5. And it says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So I ask the question, who do you trust? Many times we put our trust in people who are not trustworthy or who people who are who would let us down. Or you trust somebody in a relationship and they broke your heart and, and you're upset and you're depressed. So I want to just talk about Jesus. I want to talk about someone you can trust that will never break your heart. It will never let you down. So the key of even me doing these videos is try to just get you to understand what the word says and what God wants, the people that God wants us to be. One thing he wants us to do is trust them. And sometimes it can be hard, but when you have somebody, when you have God who has a good track record, you know, so you can look at his uh, his history and say, you know, I can trust him because I, I know he would do what he said he's going to do. So that's the reason we can have faith and trust him because he know he can't lie. The Bible tells us he can't lie. So many times on this earth we deal with people, we're in relationships with people, and we put our trust in man. We we you know we trust them to do this, we trust them to keep their word. But sometimes it may not happen. So you have to have a foundation in someone that you can go to that you know will never leave you and never forsake you. You can trust them. So I'm gonna read this other scripture coming from Proverbs three and five. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not on their own understanding. and all their ways acknowledge him, he shall direct their path. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. So whatever we're doing, we have to trust God. We have to let him direct us. And many times we can find ourselves in situations because we're not allowing God to lead us. We don't have that relationship. So each time I come on here, I always want to encourage you to have a relationship with Jesus. If you don't know him, you know, ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive your sins. That's very important. You know, it's not enough just to hear what I'm saying, but hopefully you would just make that commitment to accept Jesus Christ. You know, listen to what I'm saying. Take it in. You know, make everyone have a relationship so you can have that. So we just want to make sure we trust God. Many times we put our, our trust in so many things, so many people, but we never acknowledge Jesus. We never acknowledge what God is trying to tell us, what he's trying to show us. So as being a woman and you're living in this society and you want to do better, you have a desire to do better, you want to know what your purpose is, you want to know what, what, what does God have me here for, he will show you. But you have to give your life to him. You have to give him everything. So I'm going to read another part from the book. And it says, you can trust and lean on him without worrying about him breaking your heart or breaking a promise. You may have experienced those times where people have let you down, told you, uh things and you you said i would never trust them again so how many people out there have said that somebody hurt you and you say no i'm never going to trust him again i'm never going to trust this person again it's hard for me to trust and those things happen in life but here is a person that you can really trust you know that's what i'm trying to get you to see you have to have a relationship with jesus it's no thing about oh i can't trust. oh yes you can trust them you know he will lead you the right way because many times just because you don't know where to go, you don't know what to, who to talk to, you know, uh, your heart is broken. I'm tired. I, you know, I'm, I'm tired of the same cycle. Give it to Jesus. You know, have a relationship with him. That's what it's all about. We're living in a world where so much is going on and we can't put trust in this system. We can't put trust in what we see on TV. We have to understand. We have to trust in a firm foundation. It's only found in Jesus Christ. So I just want to encourage you today. Uh, make sure you read the scripture, the key verse, Psalm 37 and 5. Uh, meditate on it, even if that's all you can read today, even if you don't read the Bible a lot. Meditate on that one verse, you know. Meditate on what uh, God asks God to give you, you know, show you what it is in his word he wants you to see. So God will do that. So I just want to encourage you to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you to get in a you know, find a, a true foundation. And they can only be found in Jesus. So you can trust them. You can uh, lean on his word. You can uh, have a relationship with him today if you want to. So it's your choice. So I want you to trust God. I want you to uh, lean and depend on him. Yes, things will get hard. Yes, things may be hard for you now. You know, you don't always know which way to go. You know, but we want to just be women of purpose, walking in what God called us to walk in. But we have to have a relationship. 
do that and to move into your purpose if you don't have a relationship, if you're not even in a relationship with the one who created you, who knows everything about you, who knows your issues. So we really want to make sure we have that foundation first. So I just want to encourage you today. We're going to pray. God, I just pray for every lady, every person that's watching this video. God, I pray that you help them to trust you, help them to lean and depend on you, even if they're going through struggle, even if they're going through hard issues right now, even if they don't even know what to do. God, I pray that you give them peace even now, that you will comfort their hearts, that you will give them the assurance, knowing that you will never leave them, knowing that you will never forsake them, you will never break their heart, and they can really trust you. God, help us to trust you more and more. Help us to go to you first to not lean on our understanding or how we feel we should handle the situation. God, I pray, oh God, that every person that watched this will be inspired, will be um, willing to have a relationship with you if they don't have one, that they will ask you into their heart. They will ask you to forgive them of their sins. God, we know that you are able to do it. Uh, you are a good father and you take care of your uh, kids. So God, help us to continue to, to trust you. Help us continue to rely on your word, to rely on what you've done already in the past. So God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you that, God, we could be better. We thank you that we're going to be stronger. God, we thank you, oh God, because of you, we can continue to move forward. And we give you all the praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's all for today, week eight. So if you're enjoying this, let me know if there's some other topics you want to talk about. Even when the 10 weeks are up, just you know, give me a message or how you want to do a comment. Let me know that you're enjoying. Let me know that it's some kind of encouragement to you. So don't forget, if you want the book, visit www.stepsforchange.net. Or you can click the Amazon link that I will have and you can get the ebook version. So just stay connected. Be encouraged. I'll see you next week.